Hello everyone. My name is Akiyama Daichi, or Aichi is my nickname. You've most likely heard my NNSVS in Nunu database, but I also have a talk bank that is currently in development. I will be narrating this video using an early alpha version of the database, but more data is planned to be added in the future. Resource installation. I think it's obvious you need Utau or Open Utau to use Aichi. Before using the singing bank, you'll need to download the following plugin. Enunu or Enunu server. After downloading your resources, install them however you like. For Utau Enunu, it can be either drag and dropping or unzipping it and putting it into the plugin folder yourself. Enunu server can be extracted anywhere on your computer, just not the system files please. I'd recommend putting the server into a known place, so you can quickly boot it up every time you want to use Enunu libraries. Also, you'll have to duplicate a Nunu server and update it to the most recent version. Because of the architecture AIGI was trained on, note that the voice bank won't work with older plugin versions because of the compatibility issues, and vice versa. Now you can download AIGI singing bank and set it up in the software of your choice as usual. By that, I mean the same way you would usually set up an Utah bank. Usage in Utah. Using NNSVS voice banks doesn't differ much from regular CV Utah ones, besides some minor differences. First, input a score of a song. Second, put the lyrics into notes. Note that the lyrics for Japanese need to be in either hiragana or romaji. Lastly, run the Anunu plugin and wait for the results. Running the plugin the first time will take longer, as it has to download all the necessary files for it to work. After rendering, the playback will start automatically through a Windows Media Player. Let's listen back to a sample we rendered just now. Oh gosh, this is awful. Let's now try doing the same with English. For English, you want to use ARPABET phonemes separated by a space. Again, run the Anunu plugin on a selection of notes and wait for the results. That's a song of every frog. Hooray! You've now successfully used AI Cheek. All the synthesis files will appear in a subfolder where the UST is. If you dislike how raw and new sounds, for obvious reasons, you can further edit it in the tuning software of your choice. Here's an example with the pitch corrected and vocal shifter. That's a song of every frog. That's much better. Usage in Open Utau. I would consider Open Utau a preferred backend for NNSVS, as it allows for much broader editing than Utau, and it also displays a picture of me in the background. Yay! First of all, you want to run a Nunu server.bat file. Wait until it starts and keep it open all the time. It makes a Nunu communicate with Open Utau in real time. As seen previously, the usage doesn't differ from Utau. Enter notes with lyrics and hit the playback button. Sometimes you need to give it a while and it shall output a sound in a moment. There are also two things I'd like to notice. Rendering times can take longer, the longer the musical phrase. So be aware, it happens that you need to hit the space multiple times. So Open Utau realizes that the server has stopped rendering, and can play back in the moment. I've mentioned before that Open Utau gives you more parameters and options to play around with, and shape the voice however you like. Those are the following. Direct Timing Edition Load Rendered Pitch Button Ew. Phoneme Override Live Playback Almost 6 Additional Curve Parameters for Expressiveness Editing Dynamics uh, Pitch Deviation uh, Gender uh, Breathiness uh, Tension uh, And Voicing Notes and Tips for Using AI Chi I can do vocal fries and glottal stops those two are mapped to VF and Q phonemes. Add them in whenever you can. The database used for training this voice bank is American accented. That means some T and D sounds reduced to the DX phoneme, as well as data A. Uh. I also like to glottalize T's from time to time. Take advantage of that if you think it would sound pretty in places. There are also cases where the pronunciation of a given consonant drops. It most often happens with T's. Sometimes changing the length of a consonant makes it sound different. Try playing around with it. If I don't pronounce the first note sharp enough, you can try adding a glottal stop as the first phoneme to make me start from a sudden attack instead of fading in. Alternatively, if you don't want me to make a smooth fade out at the end of a musical phrase, try putting a glottal phoneme at the end to make it quicker. 
When you have a word with a bunch of consonants that you need to fit into a tiny space, just omit the vowel completely. When converting the lyrics to phonemes for English, Graphene to phoneme comes in useful. This way, you can ensure that you're using the correct pronunciation of English words. This tool is recommended especially for non-native speakers. If you want to make me hum a melody, try inputting a single M or N as the lyric. N and SVS voice banks can sometimes struggle with timings, especially on faster songs or lengthy notes. Manual adjustments of phoneme timings are advisable. Sometimes phoneme timings can get compressed into clusters like this. You can fix them by pulling into the right until all timings seem fixed. Timings of the phonemes don't always align with rendered voice. Moving the phoneme timings just a bit is a hit or miss solution to this problem. Don't be shy to experiment with a lot of pitch bends. It makes the voice sound less robotic. You can notice on the final notes that I often make a long end breath. This place is reserved for a big vibrato, which I encourage you to add. As for now, open Utel sometimes makes a breath overlap with a previous musical phrase by mistake. As a quick fix, I recommend inserting a note with PA, CL, or one of the glottal phonemes into a short gap between musical phrases. Although open Utel doesn't support flags yet, it's possible to switch into a delicate tone via the F flag. Currently, this feature only works in Utel. Let's have a listen. Don't forget to clear the catch from time to time. Files that NNSVS uses for synthesis can sometimes be very heavy. It is advised to clear it regularly, but only after you've finished doing your work. Don't do it mid-project or else you will lose all rendering progress. When mixing AI Chi, I recommend using this EQ curve which picks crafted especially for me. I'm guessing it might look goofy at first, but it makes the voice sound better once you use it. You might also be wondering about that sudden drop in the frequency spectrum. It's to dim the resonance, which might be hurting the ears. Let's listen together. Sounds a little better, doesn't it? AI Chi's voice bank contains a document file called stats.ods. You can find miscellaneous information regarding the voice bank there. It can also be a reference for how well I pronounce different phonemes and perform at a given vocal range. I think that covers it all. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the tutorial covering how to use my talk bank. Bye bye.